Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to the channel if you guys are new. As you could tell from the title, I wanted to unbox, talk through, try out these two items from Amazon with you. One is a fountain pen, the Asveen Matte Black Fountain Pen, and the other is a Pelican Ink. The thing about these two is that they were the most reviewed items I could find on Amazon with over like 16,000 reviews, over four and a half stars. I'm like, these must be good. And I am a complete fountain pen newbie. I'm not going to lie. This is actually my first bottle of ink. But with that many reviews and that high of a rating, I'm like, this must be the right place to start. So I wanted to unbox it with you, um, test out the pen, test out the ink, and we can talk it through. So this pen is, again, called the Asveen Matte Black Forest Fountain Pen in the Extra Fine Nib. And I was actually originally recommended this by Allie or Philo Planner on Instagram. If you guys seen her writing and her stuff on Instagram, you know that... If she recommends you a writing tool, like you got to listen, right? <laughs> Her writing is just so beautiful. And when I looked this up, it was to my amazement that it was also the best rated pen because she said this was quite good for newbies. So it came in that generic gray box and this little tin. And this is what it looks like. And it's actually quite heavy. For a pen that's 20 or sorry, $32 Canadian, it feels quite good quality. I mean, I'm not a pen, you know, connoisseur, but um, it does feel really quality. And it looks like this. The steel nib is this black color. And it's quite sturdy, I have to say. Now the pen, if you wanted to put up the back, goes like that. It's got the clip, which I like. And then if you open it... It also comes with the converter and I guess this is called what is this called like the screw top converter which I assume based on a little bit of research that you dip this into the ink and then like I guess you you know push it down and then you pull up and it's supposed to drive the ink up together to fill it and we'll try that together hopefully I don't make a huge mess but I think that's what you're supposed to do um so we'll try that together so that's the pen and again like i said it is sorry i should probably have you in frame here it is the extra fine nib so we'll see how that writes then the ink is called the pelican 4001 in brilliant black like I said, I've never actually purchased an ink before. This one was 1949 Canadian. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to try it out because it's so well reviewed. I have heard of the name Diatramentus Archive Ink being like seems to be the go to, especially for the Tomohi River paper in the Hobonichi weeks for not smudging, for being able to use highlighter and whatnot. But it's so hard to find in Canada. I can't find it on that many sites. If you guys are in Canada, let me know down below where I can get it. But I thought I would just go ahead and order this one since it was the best reviewed. Um, I mean, I guess that's what it looks like. So what we'll do together, I'm just going to open it up here. And I thought we could fill the pen together, especially for my newbies. Like me, maybe you guys need some help to know what to do with fountain pens like I did. Because I definitely had to do some research. So I just grabbed a piece of paper towel because I don't know how this is going to go. Because it is my first time filling a converter. <laughs> So, okay, I think the first thing that you do is go like this. And then we'll open the ink. Oh, wow, it's just like completely in the open. So I am a little nervous about this because like I just dip it in and pull it up. I'm kind of scared. Okay, let's do this together. Hopefully I don't make a ginormous mess. Okay, so I think I got it up here and I actually had to twist it like quite a few times because I wasn't sure if I was doing it right because nothing was happening. But you'll see that there, oh, there is the ink inside the tube. 
there is a bit of an air bubble. I couldn't get it out and I tried redoing it a couple times, but I couldn't get it out. So if there's a way to get out that air bubble, let me know, or maybe that's just how it is. Let me know also, cause I don't know, but it was pretty easy. You literally just dip it in and just make sure you like dip the, the, the nib completely in. And I just twisted it up and it came up. So let me just close that before I just envision myself spilling the entire thing. Put it to the side. Okay, so I guess, do we clean this off before I, oh gosh. So I'm just going to give it a wipe because I assume there's a bunch of ink everywhere. Is that what you do? Is that what you do, guys? I don't know. Okay, so then I guess let me put it back in the pen. Okay. Okay. So that's it there. Let's do one more wipe to clean it off. Okay, so let's give it a try how it writes might be a bit awkward because I can barely write nicely when I try to do it like close up and I'm kind of far away but let me give it a try moly guys oh my gosh okay not that I've tried very many fountain pens two to be exact <laughs> but holy moly that is so smooth and the pen nib like doesn't feel scratchy at all even though it's an extra fine nib maybe that just means it's not as like you know fine as others I've heard that Japanese brands or whatever it's you know skinnier than other brands um so maybe that's why but oh my gosh like look how smooth that is like there's no cracks or anything in the color the pen writes so smoothly like it felt like butter because what I've been using recently is this one and this was really well rated too I thought it was the pilot Kakuno in extra fine I also got it on Amazon but it writes kind of scratchy whereas this one is so smooth Okay, so the Pilot is also extra fine and you can tell that it is more fine than the Asveen and maybe that's why this one writes smoother than that one. But wow, that looks really nice because the only other pen that I have is this Platinum Preppy one and this one though I think is a fine nib or possibly a medium nib I'll have to double check so that one actually is not bad in terms of writing smoothness on this book but like you can tell that the ink is not, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell the ink is not as dark as this ink here. And also it's definitely a lot thicker. So, 
you know, this is either fine or medium. Maybe it's just fine and these are extra fines, but yeah, that's definitely, definitely thicker and not as black. But, oh my gosh, that's really nice. Now, I don't think that this is like a waterproof ink. So, um, I'm sure if I tried to highlight over it that it would smear and maybe we give it a try. Just going to take this Tombow. I know it's a bit dark, but let's just give it a try and see if it would smear. I'm sure it will, but let's try. So it did smear a little bit, but not as bad as I smeared my other one the other day. <laughs> like here, I covered it. But like, look at that. Like I really smeared it there. So let me just do that again. Like it's not terrible, huh? It definitely did smear, but it's not terrible. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think the reviews are right. When you have that many reviews at that many like stars, it, it, they, it doesn't lie. Like Amazon doesn't lie. I know there's fake reviews and stuff these days, but it doesn't lie. Wow. I love it. I'm so excited. And the other thing I didn't like about the this one, and I'll link them all down below, but this one, it doesn't have a clip. And I realize that that bothers me because like with pen loops and sometimes you just want to clip it in and it doesn't work. Wow. I love like the black at the top and it says EF on it. So you know that it's extra fine. I think they have this also in fine and maybe the other nibs as well. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so now begins my fountain pen journey, which I'm not really looking forward to because I know it's really expensive oh, and I don't need another place to spend money on, but I'm so excited. Okay, I'm really excited about this. So that's that. Um, yeah. Now that I'm going down this fountain pen journey, let me know what else I should make a video about. I actually ordered something else that I'm really excited about. And once I cu it comes in, I'll definitely show you guys. I'm so excited about it. Uh, hopefully you guys will be too when it comes in, but it might be a little while before I get it. But anyways, so again, that's the Asveen Matte Pen matte fountain pen this is the pelican ink i'll link everything down below including these other ones if you want to check them out like together these two are only 50 something canadian so even less in for you guys who are in the u.s and yeah i know like you know fountain pens can get really expensive and i'm not a fountain pen elite member so <laughs> oh, i can't judge too all but I know Allie has tested lots of fountain pens and she has said this is a good one. So, you know, there's some credit to be given there. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Hope this was helpful. Let me know down below what's your favorite pens, especially for beginners, because we all want to know. Help me on this journey. We'll go through it together. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.